This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rap? Because only one will escape, and the rest... <laughs> You're trapped! <laughs> oh, don't use that of a knock. I was just trying to see me in this copy glass. But it's bronked, smattered, kapat. There's something wrong with this. Yeah. It copies everything else, but not me. Ah. <coughs> there, that's for you. Ooh, hey. There's a horrible clean smell in the air. A nasty niff. Hey, it's blowing from the next boatload of unfortunates. They're all from the land of Brighton. Ugh. Hey, this'll do it. <laughs> a jar of snark gas. From 1945. Whoa! <laughs> uh, smells have gone off yogurt. <laughs> oh, hey, they're here. <laughs> so, up they come, ah, up to the tower. Hey, it might look mouldy, damp, and rank, but believe me, it's much worse than that. <laughs> so, who's in my fresh batch of cagelings this week? <laughs> There's Joe, he collects mouldy old socks. Sanaz, who wants to train pigeons. Benjamin, he snores louder than a trumpet. Florence, she pulls the legs off chairs. Arr! Joseph, his favourite smell is wet dog. And Jamie, who has just sneezed over the old team. Those unfortunates, uh, don't know what they're in for. Ah, I only came to the tower for a night's kip hundreds of years ago, but I've been trapped ever since. The voice caught me. She's a cruel mistress. I've never seen her, but you can always hear her talking in your noise hole. She's promised to let me go, but only if I help her trap as many unfortunates as possible in the tower. <laughs> This is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates start here at the top and works their way downwards. If they makes it out the bottom, they're only time for tea and a nice spider sandwich. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. <coughs> the saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> floor six, wall of sorrow. Yeah, ah, the dreaded wall of sorrow. That snivelling, whining, blubbering, whinging little wall. To show you how it's done, here's Wily Sneak, an unfortunate trapped a hundred years ago. To succeed at this challenge, the unfortunates have to rebuild the Wall of Sorrow. To pass, the wall must be complete at the end of 90 seconds. They'll have to keep their wits about them, because at some point, all the lights will go out and the saboteur will strike. And then, them unfortunates will find out why we call it the Wall of Sorrow. Quick, get building. Remember, the wall must be finished at the end of the challenge. Not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me. It's up to the voice. 
Joe, do not react. You are the saboteur. You are the only person who can hear my voice. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. I will turn the lights off twice. Try and use these times to stop the unfortunates. Maybe hide bricks or knock the wall down. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Ha! Joe is our first saboteur. This is the part I love's best. I know who it is, you know who it is, but the rest of them don't. <laughs> can Joe make the others lose so he can win? Unfortunates, prepare for the Wall of Sorrow. To pass, you must rebuild the wall. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Okay, Joe, take your time. You want the team to believe you're helping them, but you don't want to build the wall too quickly. You'll get the chance to knock down the wall very soon. Joe, you're the only person on that side of the wall. When the blackout comes, you must be on the other side of the wall, otherwise everyone will know it is you. Blackout coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick, knock the wall down before the blackout ends. Brilliant. They didn't see a thing. They won't suspect it's you. Carry on building the wall, but be careful. They're working fast. In the next blackout, you'll have to give it a big push. 30 seconds. Joe, there's a blackout coming. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Brilliant, but it's not over yet. Help them rebuild the wall so they don't suspect you. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. <laughs> Looks like the challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Joe, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Jamie because she was being really slow the bricks and every time I would put one on after her, I couldn't fit it in properly. Sanaz. Jamie, because um, she had the brick when it was blackout. Benjamin. Um, Jamie, because when every time I was trying to pick up a brick, she just kept on getting in my way. Florence. I think it was Joseph, because he was closest to the bricks and he looked more suspicious. Joseph. I think it was Joe, because he was standing next to me when the blackout went and I felt a nudge. Jamie. I think it was Joe because he was closest to the wall both times and uh, after the first blackout he was trying to like fiddle around with one of the bricks. You have voted for Jamie. The saboteur was in fact. Joe. Jamie, you will not be leaving this room. Ha! I can't believe he got away with it. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Jamie, why do you think the others voted for you? Well, I was quite close to the wall the second time, but I wasn't actually doing it. How do you feel about being trapped? I feel gutted, really, because I wasn't the saboteur, but... But I, def I suppose somebody had to be voted out and it was me. Poor unfortunate Jamie. You're trapped! Joe goes undiscovered and Jamie is trapped. I love it! Floor five, Freaky Factory. This floor doesn't stop for anyone. Freaky Factory, it's easy to get egg on your face with this one. This is Freaky Factory. 
As a team, the unfortunates must fill the egg boxes on the conveyor belt with matching coloured vulture eggs, which they will find at the back of each booth. To successfully complete the challenge, they must correctly fill five of the coloured boxes. They only have 90 seconds to do it, but beware, the saboteur will be working against them. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted, but who is it? Florence, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by stopping the others from filling the boxes with eggs. Smash or steal eggs if you like. You have to be really sneaky to get away with this. The voice in her whisper clip will help her with stinky tips so she can sabotage the challenge. If she remains undetected, Florence will be safe. But if not, she'll be trapped. He. Unfortunates, this challenge is Freaky Factory. To pass, you must correctly fill five egg boxes. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Have lots of fun with this, Florence. Do all you can to stop them filling the boxes. Well done, Florence. Remember, you can also mix up the colours or smash them. Good. Now what other wicked ways can you sabotage the challenge? <laughs> Smashing work, Florence. 60 seconds. You're doing brilliantly. The team haven't completed any boxes yet. Careful, Florence, don't risk being detected. Why don't you throw eggs away from your booth? Uh -oh. You don't want the others to know it's you. Come on, don't be shy. It's the best way to sabotage. That's good, Florence. Keep doing that, then someone else will get the blame. One box complete. 30 seconds. <laughs> sabotage is awfully good fun, isn't it? Two boxes completed. They're beginning to fill the boxes. What are you going to do? That's it. They've long to go now, but they can still do it, so smash some more. Uh -oh. Ten. Nine. Keep eight, going. Come seven, on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Ah! One. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Looks like the saboteurs do it, but were they spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Benjamin, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Um, I think it was Joseph because most of like the smashing was coming from that end and Joseph's quite quick. Florence. I think it was Joseph because he was taking ages in the back. Joseph. I think it's Benjamin, because I heard lots of smashing down the other end. Joe. I think it was Snaz, because all the boxes come through to me would have been done um, a bit more, but barely any of them were done. Snaz. I thought it was Joseph, because all the smashing eggs came from that side. You have voted for Joseph. The saboteur was, in fact, Florence. She's only gonna do it! Joseph, you will not be leaving this room. Joseph, how do you feel about being trapped? Very gutty, because I woke up this morning and I thought I could win this, but I just feel really gutted, to be honest. Poor, unfortunate Joseph. You're trapped! Every floor we traps one more, and Joseph ain't going nowhere, that's for sure. Hope he likes eggs. Floor four, which is brew. Let's see who'd like a spell of this challenge. Mmm, which is brew. There's nothing like home cooking. And this is nothing like home cooking. 
The unfortunate challenge is to help my cousin, Ethel the Witch, make a magical potion by fetching ingredients for her spell. All the ingredients are in the jars on the shelves, but those ingredients are confusifying and it's hard to tell which one is which. Unfortunates must add at least three correct ingredients to pass the challenge. But they'll have to pick carefully, get three wrong, and they will fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Sanaz, do not react. You are the saboteur. I will tell you which numbered jar contains the real ingredient. It's up to you to convince the unfortunates to pick a different one. It'll be tough, but I'll help you through your whisper clip. Treachery! Sanaz is the next saboteur. She's not to be trusted. I know that, you know that, but the rest of them don't. <laughs> can Sanaz make the others lose so she can win? Unfortunates. This challenge is Witch's Brew. To pass, you must correctly find three of the witch's ingredients. Let the challenge begin now. Hello, kitty cats! Welcome! You've arrived just in the nick of time! I was then perfecting one of me brews, but unfortunately, my eyesight is going and I need a bit of help. Are you up for it? Yes! Yeah. Yes! I need! Lotus roots! Two! Sanaz, the lotus roots are in jar three, so steer the team away from jar three. These are roots. Yeah, they're roots. Yeah, they're roots. Yeah, they're roots. That's good, Sanaz. Persuade them to go for that jar. Yeah, no, there's no other Come on, go, yeah. You think it's it? Yes. Brilliant, Sanaz. Well done. Bumble bugs, it's wrong! Turtle beans! Sanaz, the turtle beans are in jar two. In jar eight, there are black eyed beans. Make them think these are turtle beans. Very careful! These! No, 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 they're not beans. They're not beans. We need some beans. Well, I think that's beans. Yes, let them choose that one. Yes, sure now. Yeah. Yes, try these. Try these. Ah! 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 Sanaz, jar one contains gem hearts. Don't let them go for jar one. Seven! Yes. Well done. This will make them fail the challenge. Now remember to act surprised. You have failed miserably. Ooh, you've got to be sneaky to sabotage successful like. Did the saboteur have what it takes? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Florence, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Benjamin because he kept saying no to things that could be what the witch said. Joe. I think it was Sanaz because she was never really agreeing with us. Sanaz. I thought it was Benjamin because he always said no for everything. Benjamin. I think it was Sanaz because Joe, Florence and me, we were going like over one side and Sanaz was wandering to the other side. The vote is a draw. You voted for Benjamin and Sanaz. Nasty. It's time for the draw straws. Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Sanaz, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. Ooh. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Sanaz. Sanaz, you will not be leaving this room. Trapped! Sanaz, why do you think the others voted for you? Because they thought that um, I gave all the wrong answers. Poor, unfortunate Sanaz. You're trapped! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Sir Naz draws the short straw and gets a long stay. Floor three, sleep creepers. Let's see who's the sleepy head. Oh, sleep creepers, it's bedtime, and the bedbugs are the least of their worries with this challenge. Eight alarm clocks all going off. Oh, what a racket! The unfortunates have got to turn them all off. Once they've done that, they've got to jump back into bed and pull their duvet right over their heads. They can't peek out, but if they hear an alarm, it means the game has been sabotaged, and they'll need to find the alarm and turn it off. They'll pass if all the alarms are off at the end of 90 seconds. You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Joe, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. Help your team to turn the alarms off. When they're off, jump into bed. Then creep out and reset one or more of the alarm clocks. But remember, when you reset an alarm, you'll only have three seconds to get back under your duvet. So you have to be fast. No need to panic, though. I'll guide you through this challenge. If he remains undetected, Joe will be safe and just a floor away from freedom. But can he do it? Unfortunate, this is Sleep Creepers. To pass, you must have switched off all of the alarm clocks at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin. Now. is clear. Out. But remember, you've only got three seconds to get back once you've turned the alarm clocks off. Quick! Sixty seconds. Great! Off you go again. Quick! Off you go in quick, they're all asleep. 30 seconds. Off you go, Joe, but be very quiet. 10 seconds. going to turn them off. Quickly do something. Brilliant! Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Looks like the saboteur has made the team fail, but they're not safe yet. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Joe, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Florence because she never went to those two and those two were the always ones left. And when it went to 10 seconds, another one got pit. So she thought me and Benjamin would go to them once. Benjamin. I think it was Florence because when all the alarms went off, Florence was um, a bit slow to react. Florence. I think it was Joe because he always had his legs hanging out. You have voted for Florence. The saboteur was, in fact. Joe. Jammy or what? Florence, why do you think the others voted for you? I think they voted for me because I was a girl and they, I think they made up the excuses for voting for me. How do you feel about being trapped? I feel really annoyed. Poor, unfortunate Florence. You're trapped! <laughs> Good workings, Joe. Now we got Florence trapped. Only one more to go. Floor two. One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! 
Let's hope the unfortunates has been paying attention. Now they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. Hey, I'm that excited. I could bother a beaver. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin. Now. Joe, how many alarm clocks were there in Sleep Creepers? Seven. Incorrect. Eight. Benjamin, which unfortunate was first to be trapped? Jamie. Correct. Joe, what was the name of the challenge that involved finding ingredients? Don't know. Which is brew is the answer. Benjamin, which plant was growing on the wall of sorrow? Pass. Correct answer is Ivy. Joe, which unfortunate occupied the middle booth in Freaky Factory? Um, Florence. Incorrect. Benjamin. Benjamin, at the end of which is brew, which two unfortunates had to draw straws? Benjamin and Sinaz. Correct. Joe, who was the saboteur in Sleep Creepers? Me. Correct. Benjamin, the egg boxes in Freaky Factory were three different colours. What were they? White, green and purple. Correct. Joe, in which is brew, how many jars were there in total? Eight. Incorrect. Fifty-two. Joe and Benjamin, your time is up. Joe answered one question correctly. Benjamin answered three questions correctly. Benjamin, you are the winner. Congratulations. Joe, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel okay because I um I came second, but um I didn't really listen to all the games and couldn't remember them. Poor unfortunate Joe. You're trapped. Benjamin, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Ben going home and the others trapped alone. That's five more unfortunates locked up and I figured out a way to see myself in that copy glass. I'm going to surprise if I it, yes? Sneak up so it doesn't know it's me. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. Hey, what are you lot laughing at? Come on, scuttle off. There's another bobbing craft of unfortunates coming to the tower soon and you wouldn't want to get... Trapped. <laughs>